you know, what we're doing here right now, is, as I mentioned, it's, it's about building management. And, we're, and usually when you're installing sensors in a building like this, it takes days or weeks to install a thousand sensors. We're here in this fantastic building today to install a thousand wireless IPv6 sensors. All sensors are automatically discovered, automatically configured, and automatically set up with a security key. There's nothing pre-configured today. Okay, we have a thousand IPv6 sensors ready to get installed. You guys ready? Yeah! Well, let's go! It's supposed to be here. I can't figure out where, though. What we see here is the installation process, how it's progressing. We see on the top curve here how we started with actually just a few nodes uh, initially, and then it's been growing up to about 41 nodes now in about five minutes. And it's going to continue to grow until we have the full system installed. Now it feels like it's really stressful, especially when we hear numbers that 150, and we know it's a total of a thousand nodes. Well, here we can see the bigger picture, where all the, the rooms are coloring by a different temperature. And I can see how many of my colleagues are inside that particular room and how it affects the temperature. But also if the temperature is affected by the temperature outside. I think it's a very exciting project. We expect to learn a lot about ourselves in the building and about the building itself so that we can be more efficient in using our facilities. We use this energy plug to control the energy in each room or in our print room, for example, where we can see if no one is here in the weekends, why is the printer still on? Why can't we put it off? For the next generation smart buildings, it's key to provide an all IP infrastructure all the way from the smart building server to the access points to the sensors. Secondly, it has to be a truly scalable solution where it's possible to support systems of thousands, hundreds of thousands and even millions of sensors. It has to be extremely fast to install, update and maintain in order to achieve the lowest possible life cycle cost. In this third case, we use this uh, motion sensor. So if we have a conference room with 12 seats, then we'll put uh, 12 sensors in this conference room. And in this way, we can see how many people actually use this room that is uh, for 12 people. Here, how many are there on plan 6, for example? No idea. What do you say, Stefan? We know you're on plan 6. You're the most important. What just happened was that uh, someone let the door open in one of our staircases and uh, then the alarm went off and uh, our guard here is taking care of that. I think I lost 20 minutes something about my time so now we run off to the next. <laughs> Oh, this one? Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, what does it say at the end? Awesome. Yeah, that's our last one. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, we're done. You know what? We did it. Yeah. Now that's a thousand sensors. The team has done a great job and I'm very proud of them. But now is really when the really exciting time starts. Because from now on, we know everything we need to know about this building. This is exciting.